this is Empress Virgo of Empress Virgo Tarot back again with another reading. This time it is a general reading for the Air Sign Collective, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements for June of 2023. I hope you guys are staying healthy, happy, and safe out there, and I appreciate all the love and the support that you guys give to me and to the channel. It is much appreciated, okay? So let's get into the reading, all right? So, okay. Divine Holy Spirit. What general messages do you have for the Air Sign Collective, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements for June of 2023? As always, guys, take only the messages that resonate with you. Leave the rest for someone else. If certain things don't apply, let them fly, okay? Uh, but if the reading does resonate with you in your particular situation, please like the video, share the video. And consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. I would love and we would love to have you as a member of the Soul Tribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell, okay? All right. Shuffle one more time. Just keep getting this fill in the shuffle one more time. All right. All right. We have the Eight of Cups. We have the Lovers. Mm-hmm. We have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Six of Cups. We have the Nine of Cups. The Chariot. The Hermit. The Strength card. And the Queen of Cups. Okay. Overall energy, the Three of Swords. Yeah. So some of y'all literally had to walk away from someone or someone walked away from you. Not trying to make this a love reading. It is general. Whatever comes up, comes up. Okay. For some of y'all, y'all working walking away from a partnership. Um, it could be romantic, it could be work related. Take it how it resonates for you, okay? But I feel like for some of y'all, it's work re related, and others of y'all, it is a romantic partnership. It's something that you didn't see coming because you really thought, yeah, you. It's like you gave so much to this particular person in this relationship, and now you're in the phase of your life where you're trying to focus on you and pour into you. Okay, because you were dealing with someone who wasn't giving you what you desired. Okay, it was like, you know, a relationship is supposed to be equally yoked and you're supposed to be with someone who pours into the relationship a good bit of the time, majority of the time as much as you do. But you weren't receiving that, even though this was someone who you considered a counterpart. Okay, um, it could have been a bit of karma in that relationship with that particular person. Take it how it resonates for you, whether it be a business, business relationship or a romantic relationship. Take it how it resonates. I feel like for a lot of y'all, y'all realize that or you're realizing that it's time to move on. Take it how it resonates. Everybody's on different timelines. I feel like for some of y'all, y'all actually left this person, divorced them or whatever the case may be. And you decided to move back home with your children or to your hometown with your children. And you're trying to be, focus more on what it is you want out of life because you were in a relationship. Yes, it had its good moments. It seemed like the perfect union, but I feel like you didn't, it was, it was something missing. Okay. Um, for some of y'all, whoever this is for about the romantic relationship, you felt like, you have been with a person for so long, you might as well have went ahead and married them. That's not a good reason. I mean, but some people say it is. But I feel like you're seeing certain things or you saw certain things within a re relationship that you knew wasn't right. So you had to break those ties and go on about your business. Uh, whether it be business for some of y'all or romantic. Okay, I keep feeling that. Um, let's see. Let's clarify. I want to know. Let's clarify that lover's card. For the air sign collective Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. But who's this freaking? Yeah, that's possibly you, whether you be divine, masculine, or divine, feminine. They had you feeling, like I said, not fulfilled. Feeling like you were doing everything, like you couldn't be yourself within the relationship. Like they were literally draining you dry. And you was like, you know what? I'd rather focus on myself or if you have children focus on them and move on with your life i feel like you it's like you couldn't be your open nurturing and loving self with them and i say that because now sitting here in the future position you're sitting upright 
as the queen of cups you can't make this stuff up it's like you had to invest in yourself as much as you invested in this relationship and you might have been dealing with someone who didn't want to invest in a relationship they were just with you just because hey y'all were that together so long i just heard or y'all had decided to get married and y'all had children or even if you didn't have children this person was like hey i married him Mm, oh jeez. okay with the chariot card here though i feel like this is you moving on okay you're trying to find what it is that you want you're trying to overcome i don't even want to say being with this person because that sounds kind of harsh kind of cruel but it's like what however it low-key sound like you were dealing with an energy vampire and didn't know it. um that's not for everybody uh but i feel like with time as you reflect back on what you've been through and your uh, your strength you're gonna realize you made the right decision even though for some of y'all people in your family and their that person's family are gonna be looking at you like you crazy because how could you leave him or her that's a good man that's a good woman but they don't know what you were dealing with behind closed doors i keep fi picking up on that that romantic energy where they presented themselves as one way out in the public with other people. But then when y'all were behind closed doors, it's like either they weren't <laughs> affectionate. Maybe they were cold to you. Maybe they were doing something they had no business. But I feel like you, you leaving them, even though it was heartbreaking, uh, probably for everyone involved to some extent. I feel like in leaving that person, you found your strength. You found the wisdom and the lessons that you learned from that person and you actually found yourself okay you didn't do this out of malice you didn't do this out of hurt you really knew that if you didn't get away from this particular person you would have probably lost your mind air side and placements i'm just saying okay Ooh, child 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 wasn't expecting that one like i said take it how it resonates for you but it really kept popping up as love okay so let's see here Let's see. Divine Holy Spirit, what additional message or messages do you have for the Air Sign Collective? Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements for June of 2023. Let's see here. Additional message or messages. Okay, that flew like nobody's business. Okay, so it says, oh, this is number 28. A fire bird is called to soar. Two and eight is ten. That's the completion. Wow. Okay, and a new beginning. So let's see what this says. Let me get, let me get, let me get the book. Okay. So number 28. A fire bird is called to soar. Okay. Being fully yourself, knowing who you are and who you are becoming. Authenticity, shining on behalf of the divine. Do you know who you are, what you truly value, what matters to you, and how you genuinely feel about things? Okay. Can you be that person without worrying what others think? You are your unique and special being with your own path, your own journey to travel. You have incarnated with a purpose built into your very being. You don't have to look for it ever. It's inside you and has been all along. This is something to celebrate, just as a great symphony is made up of many instruments, each one integral to the whole. Your special note is essential to the great song of life. You need to play your note and not someone else's. So at this moment, being yourself, speaking about what's important to you and making choices. Gemini, the lover's energy, a choice. You, you chose to walk away from someone or something. Take it how it resonates, okay? romantic or platonic relationship or even a business relationship okay it's up to you what speaking up about what's important to you and making choices from an authentic desire from an authentic desire to participate is always best for what's every best for everyone you have come so far in your life it's time to be proud of who you are and what you have to offer the world like a firebird is called to soar so are you called to express the fullness of yourself and shine okay just remember your true heart queen of cups energy okay I, whatever you were dealing with in the past you weren't being authentic or in a relationship 
just putting on a front because that's what, like I was telling you before, that's what was expected of you and that person. And it was making both of y'all miserable, okay? Just remember your true heart. It's okay to be vulnerable. Take off the mask you hide behind. Then and only then can you make an empowered choice to fly. Ready? The dream weavers think you are. So whatever it is, y'all, whether it be a, a strong romantic relationship, a platonic relationship, or a business partnership, you had to make a choice to walk away from something that wasn't fulfilling, where you couldn't be your true self, Take that could be a job for all you know, okay? I'm just saying. But y'all will have the victory once you guys reflect, make the choice, Reflect, make the choice, and then reflect again after you made the choice. You don't know how strong you are, how valuable you are, how um, loved you are uh, by spirit, the divine, your angels, and your gods, okay? Be you, okay? That's the only person you know how to be, okay? Um, and I feel like whatever choice y'all made to leave someone or something in the past behind, it was the right choice for you, Okay? regardless of what other people say okay so that's all i have for the air sign collective gemini libra and aquarius sun moon rising and Venus placements for june of 2023 i hope you guys enjoyed the readings if you did the reading if you did give the video a thumbs up share subscribe join our tribe hit the notification bell and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys